Yo, what up guys, it's Nikolai here, and, uh, we're back with, um, uh, Minecraft tutorial, I guess. Um, so, today I'm gonna show you guys, like, the fastest way to level up your MCMO points, like, your acrobatics, repairing, salvaging, smelting, which is kinda useless, and factions. Um, brewing, taming, mining, woodcutting, and all that stuff. So, uh, to start off, I've been going ahead and getting some of the repairing done. What you want to do is you want to get a set of like iron armor and some iron ingots and you just want to go and stand by the cactus and let your armor drain to like one durability. So I'm going to do this real fast and I will come back and I will show you guys what to do afterwards. Okay guys, so I'm back and I've uh, got all this armor to one durability left and uh, what you want to do is make an iron block. Place it on the ground, ooh, whoops, and just right click and repair all of your armor. So as you guys can see right here, I've got well over 50 levels. And just that short span of like, what, two minutes? And uh, after you get to level 50, I think it's 50, you want to do it with Diamond Arbor because that's going to level you up insanely fast. But I've already done this, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. Look at that right there. Plus 12, plus 11, plus 10, 10, 4, 6, 10, 10. It just goes up insanely fast. So that's one really, really easy way to get your repairing up. And it doesn't take much time at all. And uh, I'm just going to spawn me in some MCMO points real fast. So I can show you guys salvaging. Um, If I can remember what level it was. Okay, so yes, right here, your uh, salvage repair, or your salvage level needs to be, you need to have a level of 600 in repairing. So I'm going to do that real fast, MMO edit. So there we go, I'm, already, I'm at 600 right now. And what you want to do for this is just get a gold block, place it on the ground. You just want to right click. And this is just a quick, easy way to get some uh, ore off of you know, some extra armor that's useless to you. So right there, I just got 25 ingots just from that little piece. So that's a really easy way to get uh, get your repairing up to salvaging, which is what I'm pretty sure everyone goes for. Um, so next, we're going to do acrobatics, and you're going to want to build this thing, which is like four blocks high of each. And on top of that, you're going to want to get, misspelled that, so you're going to want to get some feather falling boots and some gapples or crapples, depending on how rich you are, which is going to ultimately, you know, debate on how fast this goes. So, the feather falling gives you double XP for when you land. So, instead of getting, like, two levels, you'll get four. So, uh, just run and jump. That's all you got to do. And right there, I'm already level 24, 29, 32, and I'm going to not eat that because I'm risky. So 41 in just that short span of, what, 10, 20 seconds? Um, that's, that's really easy, and the feather falling makes a big difference. Um, so next, we're going to want to go to smelting. I'll uh, just get a furnace, some coal, and some ores. So I'm gonna four, three, four. Throw these in here real quick, just to get them all going. My mining's going up with it. That's cool. So right there, guys, it's leveling up, and all you have to do is just go mining and put your stuff in the furnace. That's it's pretty self-explanatory. Right there, I put this went through. Three, four ores, and I've gotten eight pieces out of it. So this is really easy to get your stuff up. Uh, day, toggle, downfall. Okay, so next thing you want to do is brewing, and that that one's pretty easy. It's just time consuming. Um, you're gonna want to get water bottles and put them in the brewing stands. Pretty easy. We're gonna throw some nether wood in there. To get our 
um, awkward potions going. Five, five, and five. So basically what you want to do with this is make sure all of your, you use everything you can for your potion. So I'm going to use blazing blaze powder to get uh, strength potions. You see right there, it's already going up extremely fast. And this is going to be the second step for brewing, and that uh, each step gives you more XP. So, after we got this blazing ugh, strength potions down, we're going to want to throw a glowstone in there to make it strength 2. Or you can do duration, doesn't really matter. As long as you get as much done to the potion as possible. <clears throat> and over here, you guys can see this stuff is going crazy. In so much double ores. <clears throat> Ooh. 13 alchemy. And then you want to throw in your gunpowder to make it a splash potion. And that's going to be a key part of leveling it up pretty fast. And efficiently. So we're going to let this finish and uh, show you what level I'm at. What I'm at because you know, I'm only using 5 of these and it's going... Pretty fast. Right there, I'm getting like a level per thing complete. Right there at level 23. And this really, really easy. Um, okay, so for taming, we are. Well, I guess I messed up on that kit. Uh, you're gonna wanna find horses and get apples. I've. I, I looked online on the Wikipedia page for them and. This is the best way to uh, get taming up. So you just want to tame your horse. And you will get a, a ton, I, I think. Hold on, just, just tame, man. Come on. Okay, so I, I totally messed up there. Um, let's go back into GM1. Grab some more apples. And GM0. We're going to go back to this horse. We're going to feed him a ton of stuff. Right click him. Doesn't love us yet. Okay. We're going to keep feeding him. Because he, he, he still doesn't love me. Okay. Okay, guys. So we're back. And, uh. Yeah, I, I'm pretty dumb. I don't know how to tame a horse. Yeah, I, I know. But, okay. So another way to do this is you want to go around and you want to tame. Tame, uh, some wolves. And this should should get your your taming up, but they're not that naturally spawned. Okay, so messed up on that one too. Uh, hopefully I'll get this right next. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're back, and I uh got they gotta be naturally spawned mobs. My fault. So um, we're here. We're just gonna tame these wolves, and you know it's it's not going up too fast, but. If you really want it, you can get it up to, you know, high levels, like, down here you have Sharpened Claws, which pretty sure doubles their uh, damage they do, which could be pretty good in PvP if you actually want to farm it. But yeah, um, oh my gosh, I can't type. Next, you want to get your mining up. Okay, dogs, can, can, we, can we not do this today, please? Please? No. Yep. That's good. So I got I got my pickaxe here. I got the best pickaxe pickaxe you can get in a uh, default Minecraft. And you just want to go around and you want to mine emeralds and diamonds. But you know they're they're a little difficult to find. Um, so the more natural stuff you can find is like endstone. That shouldn't take you too long. Whatever. I'm pretty dumb. So um, here I'm just mining. And you can see. I got some levels from over there in the smelting department. And uh, stone is not going to give you a lot at all. It's basically everything else but stone. Since it's, you know, it's pretty normal to find stone. But, you know, something you can mine def decently fast would be like end stone. And you guys see right here, I'm going up pretty fast. So, you know, you get a, a 55, just go to the end and just go crazy mining. Um, since those three just give you the same XP, that's all you really need to see. I think mining obsidian would be completely wasted because of the fact that, you know, it takes forever to mine. 
Um, but emeralds, they give you... But look look at that. So if you find emeralds, make sure you mine those. Because 1,000 XP per piece is uh, pretty, pretty ridiculous. And you got your diamonds right here. They're still leveling you up pretty fast. Just not the most efficient way. So I, I really suggest going to the end and mining end stone. The next one to go with wood cutting. If I can sell. Uh, uh, of Of course, my... Okay, guys, we are back, and I, uh, you know, magically enchanted this, uh, pickaxe. Uh, axe, whoops. So, what you guys are going to do is go to a jungle biome, and you're just going to want to mine some jungle wood. Uh, as you guys can see right here, it's not, it's going up pretty fast. Uh, I don't know why, but jungle wood is, is, is much faster than any other block. But not by too much, just in the long run, it'll save you some time if you're going for a certain level. And since the jungle trees are so big, it shouldn't take you long at all to, you know, actually mine them. So, uh, that's, that's a quick thing on that one. So we're going to go with excavation. Excavation, if I can spell. And just want to get an efficiency 5 axe, go to a desert, and just, just mine everything. Because, uh, you know, this stuff breaks pretty dang fast and gives you... I mean, pretty good XP. You guys can see right here, I'm level 20 almost. Just in this short amount of time. Just fill this all down real fast. So, yeah, you guys get the gist of that one. Time set day. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this part of the video. We're gonna go to the end now and this is where you're gonna want to get your swords up uh so i'm gonna you know throw on my my, my best set of armor that i have uh diff oopsie hard so i want these mobs to spawn and I, I want enderman to come in and you know try and try and kill me so once they start spawning in Okay, guys, we're back, and I uh, just had to do a quick reload right there, and you guys can see all these mobs are spawning in. And you just want to go around, make sure you look down so you, you, they don't teleport, and just just butcher, get the strafe going, get the combo dombos on these endermen, and your your sword should go up pretty pretty fast, actually. Um, Let's just kill him. Make sure you don't have fire and off the back on, because that's just going to be a pain. Fire is just going to make them teleport everywhere. Uh, and now we're going to go with Kit Axe. Okay, we're back in just a basic uh, axe. You just want to do the same thing. Run around and hit these Endermen right in the face. And just farm these levels. This one's going to take longer to get up, I'm pretty sure. Because, uh, I, I don't know, it just, just happens like that. But... Another way to get this all of these up would be to create a party. Party create. See it right there. Once you get your party to level ten, which shouldn't take you long at all, just start farming a little. Um, just of any MCMO, and it should level up really shortly. See right there, party level one. But once you get a party level ten, you can do uh, Turn on your XP sharing and make sure your friends are in, you know, a certain block radius and you guys will share the XP so everyone levels up to, like twice as fast. And uh, that's pretty, pretty easy way to get that up. Um, So that's it for the end. Next you want to do for unarmed, you want to go to the nether and just, just hit pigmen. Or if you have slash fly, go hit gas. But in, chances are you're probably not going to have slash fly. As you guys see right there, I'm already level 6 and I only killed 3 endermen. Uh, pretty, pretty fast and efficient. Okay, so the next thing I want to go over is the... Uh, herbalism. Um, your best bet is to go to the nether and find mushrooms but those aren't you know say you don't want to go around farming and looking for stuff you can just you know plant some nether wart or some sugar cane and farm it that way 
In other words, it's going to give you fixed 50 XP per block, but it's going to take longer to grow. And sugar cane's going to give you 20. So I'd make like a, a farm on the side with nether wart and another farm on the side with uh, sugar cane. Ugh, oh, so annoying. So I'm just going to start off showing you guys the, the mushrooms and just run around and the stuff just goes like wildfire right there. Or, you know, you can go out and find a big biome just full of flowers and just 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 hammer them all down. Pretty great. Um, but if you're just feeling the lazy type, you can just make your your little farms right here and as you can see it's not going up near as fast. But still it's it's good for an AFK. Or if you make a huge like sugarcane farm, you know, it's pretty common, just run through and farm your sugar cane, go sell, rinse, repeat. Pretty simple. Um, so I think that's gonna cut it for this video. I don't think I missed any any MCU archery. Archery, that one's literally the exact same as every other thing. But I would go to the nether and shoot uh those pigmen with your bow to get that up, which should take it it's it's a lot longer, harder to get uh your your uh, archery up. Sorry, right there. I lost my train of thought. Harder to get your archery up than any other thing because it takes longer to draw your bow back. But like, make sure your bow is drawn all the way back so you can get the full power and do the most damage, which is what's going to give you the most XP. So just go to the nether and shoot some pigmen. And for fishing, that's pretty self-explanatory. You literally just run and you you just go get in the boat and you you go fish. Pretty pretty easy. Um, so if you guys found this video helpful at all, or you, you know, thought this was, uh, I I don't I don't know where I'm going with this. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Um, comment what you guys want me to do next. Any tutorials? Literally anything, and I I will probably do it. I don't know. I'm pretty pretty dumb sometimes. So um yeah, leave like comment, and if you're new, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.